Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Allie and welcome to A Beauty with a Purpose. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Allie. I upload four videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, I'm doing my one take get ready with me on. So obviously like my intro will be edited and all of that jazz, but from here on out, like I'm not cutting anything out. Well, like we're just gonna start getting ready together. So let's go ahead and start and cue all of the kids screaming so that way you guys can really see what I go through. <laughs> so yeah, I figured we could just chat and whatnot and I'll just talk about whatever comes to mind. So first things first, I'm gonna address it. And let's just talk about this, this 2020 presidential election. And I don't even care, like I'm not even gonna talk about the candidates cause that's neither here nor there. God is king above all else. But, and that's who I answer to. Ethan, come here. And that's who I answer to at the end of the day. But what I will say is, to me? yes, I need you to stop yelling. That's what I said. You're yelling too. I went down my school tablet. Okay, well, can you close that door? Yeah. And don't let your brothers get into stuff. No, not my door, close that door. My brother's trying to make stuff. Bryson, come here. So anyways, I feel like this election, Ethan, did you knock him down? Did you knock him down? Did you knock him down? Okay, go sit down. King, go sit down. Y'all just go sit down and close that door. Bryson is like the most dramatic crier ever. And I bet he don't even have no tears. So anyways, I feel like this election has brought out the ugliest sides of people. And I know you guys probably wanna know my stance. Like, I stand on the side of God. So as much God as I can get in a president, like that's who I'm voting for. So somebody who lines up the most with my biblical beliefs, like that's who I'm gonna vote for. So, with that being said, us as a nation, us as people, like, our response to everything is just showing these presidents, like, or these candidates, like, that it's okay, basically, for them to act the way that they act. And, like, Believe it or not, but like, that's what they want. Like they want y'all to go crazy. They want y'all to act up because why they want to bring order out of that chaos. And it shouldn't be like that. Like they shouldn't want order out of chaos. And also like just the way people are treating one another because you don't have the same outlook on things or you don't see things from the same, like from the same perspective. Like what happened to dis like, like agreeing to disagree? Like let's talk about our differences but like that doesn't mean we have to bash one another or make others feel incompetent or make others feel less than just because they don't agree with what we agree with. Like, I'm not gonna say that this doesn't like, like it doesn't matter, but it doesn't matter enough to a point where people have to stop acting like people. Do you get what I'm saying? Or to where people can just start acting like they're the ones about to lose this race, like. It doesn't make sense to me. So yeah, I stand on the side of right. And that means I stand on the side of God. And people need to check themselves before they check others of the opposite party that they're going for. Like, check yourself because... I don't know. I will never make anybody feel like they're just completely wrong. I will enlighten you and I will help teach you and I will help you try to understand. Don't close my door. You go to that room and close your door. Go sit down and watch PBS Kids.
made me forget what I was saying. Oh, I would never try to make somebody, I will enlighten you and I will help you try to understand maybe why people vote the way that they vote or help enlighten you on like hidden agendas, but I'm not ever gonna make you feel like you're ignorant. At least that's not ever my intention. So Keen got a hold of all, like, he had every single one of my brow pomades in their room. And he had brow pomade all over his little face. Brow pomade is hard to clean off too, y'all. So yeah, anyways, you guys, like, what do you guys think? Like, do you think that people are making it worse than it should be? Because it's like, we should all still continue to treat people with love and like, we're all made in the image of God. And so that means we should all love each other as because we're all made in the image of God, despite our beliefs, despite which hand we, despite which side we stand on, like we're all made in the image of God, which means we all deserve to be treated with respect and love. Um, and another thing is like, people would think that like, bitterness and anger is like gonna help people understand and it's not i can't tell you one time i was willing to listen to somebody that came at me with bitterness and anger come at me correct and i might want to listen so people with all the anger and animosity like how much do you think people are going to be willing to listen to you if that's the only way you know how to approach a situation is through bitterness and anger that's just how I feel about it. And that's what bothers me most about this election is like the way it is making people act like they ain't got no sense or like everybody's like a certified politician. That bothers me. Like I said, I will always post things from a biblical standpoint or like I said, try to help people understand, but I will not ever make anybody feel hurt or stupid or dumb or uncared for just because of what they believe. You could come to me right now and say, hey, I worship Satan and I'm not going to treat you bad. Like, I'm not going to treat you <sighs> with hate because then what does that say about the God that I serve? I would probably be like, okay, like I'm going to pray for you. I'll, I'll, I'll pray for you, but... <laughs> We're gonna have to stay a distance away from each other because I don't know what kind of magic you may be into or anything like that. But like I said, you're gonna, I don't know. I always tell people, always. And this is just like my saying and what I live by when I have to have a conversation with anybody. Guys, I'm using this Frostbite palette that I won from Victoria, um, who is Rare Beauty Envy here on YouTube. So I'll link her channel down below, but I wasn't this in one of her giveaways. This is a Profusion Frostbite eyeshadow palette. It's so pretty. I feel like this is such a good holiday palette. So yeah, I might be taking, oh, I need a pack of, so yeah. But anyways, my motto is there's a way to say everything and a way for everything to be said. And what that means is, is carefully choose your words Stand up for yourself, but understand that you can do that respectfully without hurting one another. Okay, take this shade. I'm not gonna do anything because I, you guys, I really, since it's one take, like I don't want this to be like forever long. So, oh, I could kind of match my shirt, huh? Yeah, we could do that, y'all. These were. I swear, Profusion is like so underrated for their eyeshadow and powder. Wow, Allie, what did you do? That's why I always have to blend y'all. Like, who does that? Who puts that much in the crease? Ooh. Well, 
know what last palette. What was the last palette I used that has me dipping in the eyeshadows hardcore? Cause y'all, I'm out of line for that. Um, so for Thanksgiving, Brian and I will be going out of town and I need y'all to comment down below. Would y'all mind like if I didn't post that week, like you'll still get a vlog that Friday, but like as for me, like trying to pre-record three other videos, would you guys mind if I didn't post or are you like a teacher or do you get that week off to where you would like for me to post so that way you have something to watch? Like, let me know. Like. Do you prefer that I post or do you not mind? Like, like it doesn't matter to you. Like, I'm fine either way. I can pump out the content. I will stay up late. I will edit. Like, that doesn't bother me because I understand what I want this to grow into. But, yeah, let me know, you guys. Like, I would just like to know, like, should I just take a break or do you guys want me to post? It's whatever you guys want. That is what I will do. But yeah, we are finally going out of, going to spend the holidays with Brian's family. Like that's something that I've been wanting to do since we got married, but like the funds would just never match up or like the timing was always wrong. Like it was just, just something would always come up to prevent us whenever his family lived in California. But now they live in Georgia. And I mean, it's, it's still about the same amount of drive, not even gonna lie. It's like a, it's a 15 hour drive from here to where they live in Georgia. And I think it was like 19 hours whenever they lived in California. So no matter what, like we would have had to make the drive, but I don't mind it. I wish that we could afford plane tickets for our ginormal family, but that's really, really expensive. So yeah, I don't mind driving. And plus I think it'll be fun. His brother and his wife, so my in-laws, well, my brother and sister-in-law are supposed to come down here to Lubbock and then because they live in Arizona so they're gonna drive down from Arizona to come here and then we're all gonna drive to Georgia together so we're all gonna drive in like four hour shifts which is not bad like I'm glad that it was able to be broken up like that so yeah I'm super excited to go for one I've never been to Georgia two I really love like Brian's side of the family, I really do. And we're going to see his dad's side of the family because yeah, he comes from a split home just like I do. So we're gonna go see his dad and his stepmom and I'm really, really excited to do that. Like, I don't know. Mostly because they rave about how good, good of a cook his dad is. And then hopefully I don't have to cook for Thanksgiving this year. Um, I had finally cooked my first Thanksgiving, I think the second year of our marriage. And then I cooked last year. And I'm hoping I don't have to cook this year. That's a lot of food to cook, y'all. And I do all the, I would do all the cooking by myself. Like, Brian is not a cook. He'll keep the kids out of the way. He'll take care of the kids. But if I need him to cut something, he'll help me prep. Let me take that back. He will help me prep. So if I'm like, Brian, like... Hey, will you cut these onions? Like, will you do this for me? Like, he'll do that. But like, actual like cooking, <laughs> he's not having it. Um, he made hamburger helper the other day though, and it was so good. And the boys like tore it up. I'm like, here I am making these boys meals, like with the protein, a veg, like some veggies, little roly roll or some cornbread on the side. And the boys will not eat, but Brian makes a pot of hamburger helper. And they tore that food up, y'all, like. And I don't mean like, oh, they ate all their food. I mean, every single one of the boys wanted seconds. And I'm just like, y'all don't ever eat like that when I cook. Like, it really be making me feel some type of way. Like, am I not cooking good enough? Like, what don't y'all like about it? I'm using these ginormous scissors. So that's what I have right here. Like, what do y'all not like about it? I'll admit, Ethan will eat whatever's put in front of him. Like, we've finally trained Ethan. Like, 
eat what's in front of you or don't eat at all and he's getting it but the other two are not but brian also gives in to the other two a lot king we don't really fight too much for him to eat i fight the most to get king to eat breakfast and that's probably he probably gets that from me because i'm not a breakfast eater like i can go without eating breakfast i not my cup of tea i don't like really anything about breakfast except for bacon what would be no, aren't you playing on your school tablet? You can't have that tablet. You want to play on your school tablet and do Dreambox or I read? Fine, but you're not playing with your home tablet because you haven't been listening. Or, or, or go sit down and watch PBS Kids. Or Fun Friday if you know how to get to Fun Friday Centers, go do them. Okay. So I was watching, um, I was watching Raquel's video of, uh, the Nubian Mink Lash Tutorial, and her and my friend Karina just be popping their eyelashes on, like, with their fingers, and I'm just like, yo. Like, kudos to anybody who could just pop their lashes on with, finger, with their fingers, because I feel like, first of all, my fingers are too chubby. Second of all. Second of all, y'all, I just can't do it. Like, I'm, I struggle with tweezers and they're precise. So how I'm gonna do it with some chubby fingers, you tell me. <sighs> Ethan. It says no internet, there's a dinosaur, I feel it. Well then just watch PBS Kids and when I'm done, I'll help you. So yeah, kudos to those of you who put on your lashes with just your hand because I can't, I can't do it. I feel like I can't get the band close enough to my actual lashes. <sighs> I just, I can't, so. And plus, Raquel wears like the biggest, prettiest lashes and I'm just like, I can't pull those off. Like this is probably, <sighs> like this is my comfort zone and I have a few that Karina gave me that are like a little bit outside of my comfort zone. But my comfort zone with dramatic lashes is this right here that you see. These are the Salon Perfect 671 lashes. These are their pre-permed push-ups. And then whenever I watch Juicy, Juicy Jazz, like she lets her lash glue dry forever. Like she will prime her face, do her foundation, and then put her lashes on. And I feel like, I don't know what kind of draft is blowing through my house that I don't have that kind of time when I put lash glue on my lashes. But I feel like every time I've tried to do that, by the time I get back to my lash, like the glue is dry, dry. Like not tacky, not sticky, dried. Like, I don't know. Let me know, what's your lash routine? Okay. I hate when there's a sticky spot on the lashes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Who remembers as a kid on Saturday mornings, if you grew up without cable, you'll know what I'm talking about. But on Saturday mornings, if you grew up without cable, there used to be cable cartoons on Saturday morning that you could watch for free. Who remembers that? So I wanted to use this foundation combo today because I remember I told you guys about it in my favorites video, how I just love this foundation combo. And that is the Profusion Feel Good Skin and the Ordinary the uh, Coverage Foundation. I was talking to Raquel. <laughs> she was saying that she bought the foundation too. And when she bought it, it was way too dark. And remember when I did my haul, I told y'all, trust what the description says. Because them pictures will fool you. <laughs> So I was like, I'm glad I'm not the only one like that was like, oh, this picture looks like it's good. I'm gonna have to add some more of that profusion. This picture looks like it matches me. And then like you read the description, this description and you're like, no, that description does not match the picture. I'm gonna trust the picture. Don't trust the picture. It's a lot and I have to add more of the profusion one. Just because it's way too, maybe I'm getting lighter and maybe the Profusion one will match me. I don't know. We shall see. So I feel like the Profusion one goes on darker than what it dries down to. And that was my issue with the Profusion one. Cause when I first put it on, I was like, oh, this matches me. And by the time like I was moving on to like the next step, it was like, oh, I look gray. Why is all this stuff up? So I bought these house shoes on Monday from Target in bucks and I cannot stop wearing them like if I could wear them out in public I would like I love them and also I'm probably just obsessed with them because I haven't had a pair of house shoes since oh my gosh who does that Allie does that also I haven't had a pair of house shoes since like the beginning of the year because I've been wearing house shoes out like <laughs> I'm always home. They're called house shoes. I'll be wearing them out quick, y'all. Real quick. As far as the boys are being this quiet, y'all. So what are some videos you guys would want to see from me? Like Jesus chats, lifestyle. I can tell you guys what I have thoughts on and maybe make a list while you're watching this part. And then like on a scale of one to 10 in your comment, like let me know how much you would want to see that. I want to do a cheese, Jesus chat, but I also want to do it like mixed with lifestyle. So I want to show scriptures, why it's why, why it's why it's good to be wise with your money and to be a giver. And I'm not talking about tithing. I'm talking about giving like to the body of Christ, not the church, not the church building, but to other believers and why it's just good to save money and tips on how Brian and I save money. And uh, I want to do like budget, um, how I shop, how I grocery shop on a budget because um, like when we're paying out of pocket, when the pandemic started, we got food stamps. So we haven't, this this is the first month I'm reapplying to see if we can get them again. But um, before the pandemic, like we were paying out of pocket and I was only spending $600 a month on food for a family of five and um, it stayed that amount. So if you guys want to know how I did that, let me know. So that would be just like um, a Jesus Chats budgeting video, I guess you could say. Because that was like, so it wasn't only groceries. That was household items like cleaning items, detergent, paper towels, paper plates, napkins, like all of toilet paper on top of like all the groceries. So anything we needed for the house on top of groceries, hygiene products, that was only coming out to $600 a month. So let me know if that's something that y'all would wanna see. 
or if that's something you would be interested in. Try out this powder again. What? The dump truck. The dump truck's not out there. Okay, can you go back and watch cartoons, please? Cause like now King's coming in here. Grayson loves truck truck. Trucks, trains, planes, like tractors. Bryson loves it all. School buses, every time we're doing Uber Eats and he sees a school bus, he always starts singing, the wheels on the bus go round and round. Like he just starts singing it. And anytime he sees a star like on a building, or if we're dri if we happen to be driving at nighttime, because it's very rare that we that we're outside like driving around when it's dark. And he sees stars anywhere, he's like, twinkle, twinkle, little star. <laughs> I guess they need a snack before lunch. Mm -hmm. If you stink, King, you need a diaper change. I'll change you in a minute here. So yeah, Bryson is so cute. So cute. And he's getting so smart. He's been asking to start school lately. And I did. I did. Because you have to apply. Eat Now, if you have a sibling that goes to Ethan school, like your first come, first serve, but you do have to apply to get into the school that Ethan goes to. Do I need to open that? Yeah, I heard the airplane too. I'm just taking the excess eyeshadow off this brush, off the brush here. I'm doing my lower lash. like you need additional product. who you are you make that face when you do your lower lash mascara <laughs> I was saying something and I don't remember what I was saying oh my lanta Video ideas, <laughs> dang Allie. Um, but yeah, I want to do like a more like how to have a more productive day. My tips on being consistent with working out, like I don't know. I want to do like more lifestyle things like that. Um, they don't have to go into the Jesus chat category, but why I do a lot of what I do is because of what the Word of God says. So if you're more inclined to watch it without it, no, I'm not taking my Jesus chat title off for nobody. So you either watch it or you don't, but it will be in my Jesus chats category with scripture as to like, why should you work out? Why should you take care of your body? Why is it important? How you treat your body, what you put on your body, what you put in your body, like why is it important? Um, and I do have a video like that, but um, as to what I do to lose weight and I kind of go into why just a tiny bit but not like into depth so maybe like something like into depth along with my tips like so first of all before I give you any tips let me give you a tip as to why you should take care of your body you know like even though a lot of people are like well we're not taking this body to heaven with us you're right but your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit and you should care for it as such because if your body's not here and you go before your time, did you 
you didn't put yourself in a good predicament to go out and spread the gospel with others if you're not taking care of your body. So yeah. Just little things like that. So yeah, the reason why I do everything, you guys, will always line up with the word of God. Like I don't think there will ever really like just be like a video that I do that's like my reason behind living at this point is to try to please God and to try to bring others to please God and like show others like, yeah, like God is merciful and graceful and he does bless you here on this earth. But if that's the only reason you want to start seeking God is because you feel like I don't have enough money. I need more peace. Like I need, I need, I need, but you never want to ask what God needs from you. Like this ain't the right walk for you. And the Bible even says that, like there are some who just ain't built for this walk. Cause this world has become lovers of themselves rather than lovers of God. That's what this whole little self love. I'm all for self care but not for self-love because when you start to only love self, you forget about others, you're selfish, you can become a narcissist and you forget about why yourself even exists and you forget to love God the most. You put yourself above God. So yeah, just my view on things. I know everybody won't agree with me and that's okay, agree to disagree. If you don't like what I say, either don't watch me or just ignore it and move on. Like, I'm not going to stop talking about God on my channel. Like, yeah, I do it not only because I love you guys and I want you guys to find Christ, but mostly because I love God and I just want to do what he calls me to do. I feel like I make or do some of the like most prettiest, simplest looks when I'm not trying. Like when I'm just doing my makeup to do my makeup, I feel like I love the way my makeup comes out. And for that lip lip combo, you guys, I have on the Milani Cinnamon Statement Understatement Lip Liner, and then I have the color Pop Ultra Matte Lippy in Sunny Side. No. It does, does Ethan have his? Yours is dead. Bryson, it needs to charge. Okay. All right, you guys. So anyways, this is the completed look that I made just sitting here chatting with you guys on this one chat, one, one take, get ready with me. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I'm so sorry if it's so long. Um, yeah, I, I, I want to do more like this and maybe I could do more simpler looks so that way they're faster. But always remember you guys that I love you guys, but Jesus loves you more. Like I just said, and if you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.